Hi, sweet friends. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Amy and welcome to Simply Our Home. As I continue my Christmas decorating series, I thought it would be fun to share with you some ideas for decorating your bathrooms for Christmas. We'll be tackling two bathroom areas today. The first will be our small powder room, which is right off of our family room. And in there, I'm continuing the color palette, which is very neutral, calm, and serene. But then we'll move upstairs. And for that bathroom, I want it to look a little bit more festive. So definitely some more red and green and more of a rustic Christmas in that bathroom. So I hope that you enjoy it and it is helpful. If it is, I'd appreciate a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I hope you would consider subscribing. I'd love to have you back. Well, friends, without further ado, let's decorate. Here is a look at our small but heavily used powder room. Since it's the only bathroom on our main floor, it gets up the most traffic from both guests and ourselves. At Christmas, we like to go all out, and that includes decorating our bathrooms for a festive touch. When I'm decorating, I like to start from the top to bottom, so today I'm adding a couple drapey picks that I picked up from Joann Fabrics to create a swag garland above the bathroom mirror. Now, if you're looking for an alternative to a basic bathroom mirror, try using a dresser mirror instead. I'm super happy with the result, and I think it just instantly adds a lot of warmth and character. To continue with that calm, neutral, vintage-like feel that I incorporated into our Christmas decor in our family room, I'm adding some of that same satin ribbon to make bows so that both rooms have a cohesive look. I have the perfect piece in mind that will hang here on the wall next to the mirror. It is this Mary sign that I picked up from Kirkland's last year. I think it is super important to remember when using those Velcro command strips to prep your surfaces properly so your wall decor will stay up nice and secure all season long. Make sure to wipe down your surface with rubbing alcohol and allow it to completely dry. Try using a hairdryer to speed up the drying time. I have found in the past that if I don't prep correctly, that is when these command strips fail. A quick and easy way to add a seasonal touch to your bathroom is to change out your hand towels and hand soaps. Both items I'm adding here are from Target. I'll do my best to link everything that I can down in the description box in case you're wanting to pick up any items I've used today in your own homes this Christmas. Next up, I'm going to carefully bring in a tear tray that we decorated together, if you remember, in my past video. I love using tear trays in bathroom styling. You can use them for functional items or, like me, use them to display smaller decor pieces for a more grounded vignette. Now, because this tray is set on an uneven surface, I'm adding a felt bumper so that it is nice and level. Thank you. 
One area that can be hard to decorate is the toilet tank surface. So today I'm going to share with you two practical ways to style this area. The first step is to start with some type of tray or basket. Here I'm adding this tray from the store at home. Inside I'm placing a reed diffuser from the Threshold brand at Target. With a light forest fur scent, it is perfect for the holidays. Then I'll add a jar filled with cotton swabs, a room freshener, also with another pine scent that was from Marshalls, along with a couple Target Dollar Spot trees. And then to finish up the arrangement, I'm adding a candle in the same scent as the diffuser. I think this creates a very styled but functional area. Moving right along, it's time to add a few seasonal touches to this galvanized metal shelf that came from Decor Steels. To give decor pieces a boost, you can definitely use wood rounds, books, and here you can see I'm actually using a cardboard round from Painter's Tape to elevate the decor piece. Then to add some greenery along with texture, I'm adding a mini wreath from Hobby Lobby. This basket, also from Hobby Lobby, provides a bit of warmth and a touch of softness by rolling up a few washcloths. This brand from Amazon is our favorite for bath towels, hand towels, and washcloths. So if you're in the market for those, I'll have them linked down below. I'm really happy with how our powder room turned out and if you're looking for even more decor inspiration and Christmas bathroom styling, I can go ahead and leave last year's bathroom decorate with me so you can check that out as well. Now let's head upstairs to the main bathroom on this level. As I mentioned before, I want this space to be more festive with red and green and just a fun, rustic looking Christmas theme. So once again, I'll start by hanging a wall decor piece from Hobby Lobby to get the decor process started in this bathroom.
Next up for these floating shelves, I thought it would be fun to display our Christmas village, which my mama passed down to me. I love setting this up every year and it takes me back to my childhood. As I set each piece up, I like to pretend that the figurines are actually playing, shopping, and involved in the world that I am creating. It's just so fun for me. I'm like a kid again. You'll have to let me know if you have a Christmas village that you like to display every year or if there's another special Christmas piece that you hold near and dear to your heart. I'd love to hear. My second idea for toilet tank styling, I'm grounding the area again by bringing in a tray or basket. This time I'm using a basket that is from Walmart. To the center slot, I'm adding pieces of pine and berries from an old garland for a touch of Christmas greenery. Now on to the functional part. I'll be adding in extra toilet tissue rolls, but to dress them up and make them just a little extra special, I'm folding the edge to make a point and then I'm stamping it under the faucet to create a unique imprint. It is super easy. First, let the water run for a few seconds, turn it off, and then stamp the toilet paper to the faucet, holding it there for just a few seconds, and then voila, how cool is that? Try it out on different faucets throughout your home, and you'll be amazed at how each one's impression is a little different, unique, and beautiful. For the bathroom vanity, I definitely don't want too much clutter, but you know me, I have to add a few decorative pieces that can easily be removed if you need the vanity space. I love how this one turned out. I like to think that the decor creates a Christmas story. First, you'll grab your lantern as you stroll through the village on the way to find a Christmas tree to bring home. And obviously, the stump by the shower indicates you found the perfect one.
All right, sweet friends, that wraps up today's Decorate With Me. I hope that you enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know which bathroom was your favorite. As you can see, the weather behind me has been so rainy and dreary, so I do appreciate you spending your day with me, and it made my day a little bit brighter. Now, before we go, I love to share with you a daily Bible verse. And so today I'll be reading from Luke 21, verse 27. And this is when Jesus is talking to his disciples about his return. At that time, they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand up and lift your heads because your redemption is drawing near. All right, friends, again, I thank you so much for spending your day with me. I hope you have so far enjoyed the Christmas decorating series. We have still lots of fun decorating to go. I have my master bedroom, our dining room, our entryway, and then we'll have outside spaces to decorate, some baking. There's tons of fun Christmas content still to come. So if you haven't already, I hope you would consider subscribing. Definitely hit that thumbs up button on your way out and let me know if you are enjoying the series so far. We'll have a fabulous rest of your day and I will see you real soon in my next one. Take care and God bless. Merry Christmas. Bye friends. <laughs>